Not to my surprise, AMD has confirmed their Polaris graphics architecture that was leaked a few days ago. Pretty much everything I discussed in my Polaris leak video has been confirmed, including its 14 nanometer FinFET process, mid-2016 availability, significant power per watt savings, HBM, and true 4K HDMI 2.0 support. Notably, AMD's Radeon Technologies Group refers to Polaris as a fourth generation implementation of GCN architecture. Interestingly enough, RTG is referring to it as a macro architecture, since it'll encompass numerous technologies and applications. AMD's biggest highlight is the power savings thanks to the 14 nanometer FinFET process, claiming twice the power efficiency of previous generation GCN graphics products. Polaris isn't just a port of GCN to 14 nanometer, but Polaris was specifically designed with 14 nanometer in mind. AMD needs this badly, especially after skipping the 20 nanometer half process that we should have seen earlier this year. There will be the expected and needed improvements to the actual processing hardware as well. Support for next-gen multimedia like 4K H.265 has been confirmed. Even with the availability of HBM, Polaris will still support GDDR5, and technically should support GDDR5X since it should be pin compatible. One can expect HBM to be used in the highest end products. I'm still hoping for HBM availability in upper mid-range cards, but with confirmed GDDR5 support, it seems unlikely given HBM's expense. Also of note, the Radeon Technology Group is also heavily focused on software development, in particular Linux drivers and its open source GPU libraries. The increased focus on driver development has been needed for some time. I've yet to try out Crimson since I've been too lazy to switch out my Radeon 5850 for my R9270. All in all, everything is certainly welcome news for the red team. Let's just hope that they release on time, on mark, and in a way that doesn't break our wallets. So leave a comment down below on how confident you feel about Polaris. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more AMD Polaris news from yours truly, and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you next time.